Rule one of caving, don't do it. Rule number two, don't do it alone. Mark Dowell had just turned 18 years old. He had enlisted in the Marines and just bought a brand new Jeep. He had about two months before he began his basic training and he decided to go on a trip. He packed his tents and his bags and his gear and he took off. He didn't really have any destination in mind other than adventure. He found himself camping in a forest in the middle of West Virginia. And while he was fishing, he saw a cave up on the hill. It piqued his interest. Since uh, the fish weren't biting, he figured he would try his hand at something a little more adventurous. He went back to his camp and he got his one flashlight and an old pair of jeans and he took off of the cave. The cave was only a few feet above the high water mark, or so it appeared. He started off from the interior of the cave and saw that it was large, sloping down towards the back. He could hear running water, and there were many boulder tumbles. The boulders seemed fairly precarious, but they were big, most of them, and he took his chances, squeezing through a tight gap, and it opened up into a beautiful chamber. He turned around and he could still see the light of the cave entrance, so he pushed on farther. He soon came to another boulder tumble and he shined his light through. On the other side, it opened up into a bigger chamber with many branching passageways and he was excited, so he crawled through and then it happened. At first he heard a shifting above him and then a small rock and then another and then the whole ceiling collapsed. His upper torso was free, but his legs were trapped and badly damaged. He began to try to dig himself out, but it was no good. As he struggled, more rocks came down, pinning him in a very uncomfortable position. With his chin tucked down to his chest and only his right arm free, he panicked. He began to scream and yell and soon his voice became hoarse and he realized that no one was going to hear him. As if things could not get any worse, the sound of running water got louder. Unbeknownst to him, upstream a rain was causing the river to flood and filling the cave. Two weeks later, his jeep was found. Five weeks later, his body was found. His fingernails had been torn away from his free arm and he drowned. Rule one, never go caving. Rule number two, never go caving alone.